fixed firefighting hypermist system converts water to uniform and fine water mist. This process absorbs much energy lowering the temperature of the fire and the pressurized water expands about 1700 times taking the air away from the fire. These systems require a water consumption 6 to 10 times lower than a traditional sprinkler system. A responsible engineer needs to check all valves are in proper position. Only the selected area of valve will be open, otherwise there will be problem. As you know, there are some places covered by the hypermesh system, such as incinerator room, auxiliary boiler room, auxiliary generators, main engine cylinder head platform, purifier room, inert gas generator room, and steering gear room. This system is mandatory in passenger ships with uh, gross tonnage over 500 and cargo ships with gross tonnage over 2000. Engineer needs to check everything are running well. He can take the photographic evidence. He needs to check the pressure, leakage and the pump are in good condition. For activating hypermiss needs to activate smoke and flame detector manually. The requirements for test and approval of these systems are specified in the Maritime Safety Committee Circular 1165. It shall be capable of being activated manually. It shall be always ready to function and be capable of supplying water during 30 minutes to avoid the reignition of the fire. The systems that operate with a reduced output after an initial discharge shall be ready again in less than 5 minutes. It shall have redundant pumping mains and shall have a permanent switch chest. The mains of control shall be outside the protected space. It shall be supplied with electric power from the main and emergency generator. The capacity of the system shall be based in the largest of the protected areas. Here, electrical officer on the crane is activating the smoke and the flame detectors manually. There are some conditions that must be maintained all the time to ensure hypermesh system is standby for operation. Number one, sufficient water level must be retained in the designated freshwater tank. What else the power supply should be available? The fire alarm system must be in operation. Drain and test valves must be closed and well marked. The area around the hyper water pump must be clear of any obstructions. A clear operation procedure for manual and auto operation must be displayed. How to test the alarm? Designated freshwater tank low level alarm shall be tried out by manually lowering the plot. Electric source failure shall be tested by removing fuse from the control panel. Line test. The whole pumping system to be blown through with compressed air at the pressure of 7 to 8 bar. Check the free passes of air from the nozzles. Now a smoke detector has been activated manually. Then flame detector has to be activated manually in order to activate hypermesh system. We need to wait for a while. Yes, now flame detector has been activated. Let's see what happened.
Wow, wow, we can have a shower. This is really amazing. My feeling is high. I hope you have enjoyed. See you next time. Ciao.